So you have to take an antibiotic for one reason or another, and you want to limit the damage that it does to your gut because it can kill good guys and bad guys alike. Well, there are several things you need to do. A lot of people like to focus on probiotics, which can be useful, but there are other more important things you would want to do as well as take the probiotic. First, you want to eat your everyday diet. A lot of the time when you're taking an antibiotic, you're sick and you really kind of eat garbage all the time. So you don't want to do that. You want to eat your normal diet, which ideally has a lot of plants, fiber, polyphenols, and high quality protein sources. Next, you want to be physically active if you can be. Again, being physically active is very healthy for your gut and leads to a healthy microbiome. Next, you want to make sure that your sleep and circadian rhythm patterns are locked down. In fact, a recent study in mice found that mice who had proper circadian behavioral patterns recovered their microbiome, while mice who did not did not recover their microbiome. So it's really important that you're physically active during the day, you're getting up and going to bed at the same times, and you're keeping your meals relatively consistent. Furthermore, you're going to space your meals out. You're going to want to have a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner, and have space in between without snacking. That can help clear out any of excess bacteria that could potentially be an antibiotic-resistant bacteria that can overgrow. Now, we're going to go on to the probiotics really important and they can be really useful, but people do it wrong. First off, when should you take them? You should be taking them during your course of antibiotics and you should be taking them at least three hours before or three hours after. So there's a better chance that they will survive the journey. Next, what type of probiotic? Most people will reach for something that has like five or six different strains. You don't want to do that. You want to focus on two specific strains, either lacto Lactobacillus rhamnosus GG or Saccharomyces boulardii. Both have been shown to be beneficial in preventing antibiotic-induced uh, diarrhea. And generally, you're going to be looking for around 10 billion CFUs, which is colony-forming units. Now. What should we do in terms of other things that may bolster? I would be eating probiotic foods. A lot of them are low lactobacillus containing. And in fact, things like kefir and yogurt generally will have lactobacillus rhamnosus, not necessarily the GG, but it's still gonna be beneficial to your gut. So you wanna get the fiber, get the probiotics and the probiotic foods. And then once you're through, hopefully you've maintained what you had before taking the antibiotics so that they can continue on. Because in fact, it's been shown that if you wait to take these kind of high dose multi-strain uh, probiotics after a course of antibiotics, they can actually destabilize the microbiome and take longer for you to recover. So just do it right. Focus on the single strains of either L. rhamnosus GG or S. boulardii, 10 billion colony forming units and take them during, not at the same time as your antibiotic within uh, a good three to three or so hours before or after so that they can last.